Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discover Cahors region and Appalachian. It is located around the city of Cahors in the central north of the southwest one region. It is an Appalachian that covers more than 4,000 hectares, spread around 45 municipalities. On average, the production is of 20 million and more bottles per year. The history of Cahors dates from the 6th and 7th century. At this time, Saint Didier, the Bishop of Cahors, whose life was mainly written by a monk of saint Géry uh, through letters in the following century of his death. There is evidence in several episodes of the existence of a large commercial vineyard in Kercy, around the episcopal city of Cahors. Didier de Cahors played an important role in the development of the vineyard, both for religious reasons, for the mass wine for example, and for social reasons, the duty of hospitality, reception with wines, honors, and so on but as well for economic reasons, the wines being sold on the local market and distant market too. The King François I, or François I, who succeeded his cousin Louis XII on the throne of France in the early 16th century was also known to appreciate the wines from Cahors. Indeed, his butler sommelier were sent to the region to buy wine. Also, this King François I changed the fate of the emblematic Cahors grape variety twice. First of all, by bringing in June 1531, plants from the Cadurcien vineyard to be cultivated near his castle in Fontainebleau. The king then sought to create a vineyard of all vineyards, able to produce his own wine while honoring and centralizing the wine variety of his kingdom and abroad. One of this particular grape variety was the Samoro, Samoro which is uh, none other than the Co, or Co de Touraine, or the Auxerrois, which is basically the Malbec today. On the other hand, he changed the fate of the grape variety of Cahors by making the use of the word Auxerrois to designate this grape variety. Unfortunately, the late 19th century, Phylloxera destroyed most of the vineyard. But thanks to the solution of grafting on an American plant that resists well to Phylloxera, the region overcame the disaster. From this, the vineyard was rebuilt and until obtaining in 1971 the appellation d'origine contrôlée, controlled appellation of origin. To cite very famous uh, Cahors producers, we have uh, Chateau Au Mont Plaisir, uh, Chateau Lamartine, or Chateau Eugénie, for example. So, as regards its soil, the Cahors vineyard is located on two main types of soil a limestone group, the Cos, uh, which basically means plateau, where the Lot Valley runs from east to west. In the Cos, as more than 250 meters above the sea level, are the secondary and tertiary limestone slopes and plateau, composed of the loose stones coated with clay, more or less mixed with marl and the second one in the Vallée du Lot, which is a wild alluvial valley. With step terraces, these terraces are made up of limestone, subsoils, and rich with more or less alluvium soil, uh, left by the river and its tributaries. The soils are relatively deep, sand loamy on the banks of the Lot, and clayey and stony at the foot of the limestone slopes. As we get the climate, the Claro vineyards enjoy a combination of climate influences that make wine production favorable. It has the same distance from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea and the Pyrenees mountain chain. The temperate oceanic influences is still present with well-distributed rainfall and significant sunshine that are good for the ripening of the grapes. This favorable geographical location protects it from both Atlantic humidity and Mediterranean autumn rainfall. The vineyard therefore benefits from sunny late season, which allows a refinement of the maturity of the harvest without excessive rain. The influence also of the Massif Central give Kersi a part of the mountain climate. The healthy climate in winter for the vines offer moderate cold. So exclusively red wines are being produced in Cahors uh, with the Malbec grape variety, which is sometimes called, as we mentioned earlier, Auxerrois or Co. Two accessory grapes varieties are authorized to be blended uh, with the appellation, which are the Tana and Merlot. But Malbec should be at least 70% of the blend. So I regard the tasting profile of the wines, those are powerful and tannic wines with aromas and flavors very expressive of prunes, dried fruits, blackberries, blackcurrants, uh, spices such as black pepper, healthy and also some mushroom notes, sometimes truffle. Those wines are meant to be kept for four to eight years uh, or sometimes more for some wineries and vintages, more than 10 years. When young, the wines are really great to be um, accompanied with charcuterie, cold cuts, such as a country terrine, but after the years passed in the cellar, they are classic accompaniment to cassoulet, uh, those local dishes, duck confit, also can be with roasted meat such as lamb, or grilled beef or cocovin, 
They go very well also with hard cheeses such as Mountain Tom. Another attraction when visiting Cairo is the Blues Festival and that lasts for five days in July. Since it was founded in 1982, it consists in big stage concerts in the evening. Several thousand of people gather around these celebrations and it has revealed to the public many little known or unknown artists as well as produce some of the most famous blues artists. Uh, so July is a perfect time to visit Cahors, to enjoy some wine tasting and also to attend this blues festival. So thank you for watching this video about Cahors. We hope you liked it and see you next time for another wine video. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.